All right, guys, so today I'm going to be setting up a crawfish fish tank. Now, I went out the other night and caught about six crawfish, and I randomly threw them in this tank right here. I had this open 10-gallon tank. It was a minnow tank. There was nothing in there for the longest time, so I threw them in here. Threw in some rocks, a little bit of dirt, but uh, I don't like this setup. We can do a whole lot better, so that is what we're doing today. So this filter is way too big for this tank. It needs to come out, and we'll replace that with an actual 10-gallon filter. So that will give us a lot more space for the crawfish. Crawfish don't matter how tall the tank is, they just want a flat bottom. They stay on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and take out all these rocks and then we will move the crawfish into this side over here in the time being while I can work on this tank. We'll get it done and then move them back into the tank. But there's one of them right there. All right, let's get started. First things first, take everything out. This big filter is gonna go over to the 60 gallon tank. I got out all the old sand, now time to dump in the new sand. Let's see how much we got. I was hoping it'd be a little bit deeper. I didn't wash the sand either, but it did, did come from a water source. So I'm just gonna kinda spread it all about. Let all the really small grains fold up into the water and I'm gonna suck out all the water. That way we can kind of start fresh. Good clean water. All right, so now we're left with about a two inch layer of sand and about a quarter inch layer of water. Now, crawfish love caves. Gotta do a check real fast, make sure they're all in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, all right. Okay, we're all good there. So crawfish love to dig around and make caves and have hiding spots. They need hiding spots or they will literally kill each other. So what I was thinking was, I went to the hardware store and picked up this. This is a two inch 90 degree elbow. And I was thinking this could be an awesome cave. Place this in the corner, kind of like that. And then cover that with the rocks. So either super glue or use the aquarium silicone and make a mound of rocks all around it and then leave the openings and that will look like a natural cave. I think that will be pretty freaking cool. I was thinking about all this when I was fishing earlier, but what if I took a bowl, buried it in the sand and then put rocks over that? And that way it will already have a sunken out or dug out cave underneath the rock that they can go into. Let's try it. Let's just try it out. Over here, we're gonna try it out. There's all this dirt over here. We may need a wedge in the back. I always forget the filter placement. So let's go ahead and throw that in right there. So it's gotta go there. Yeah, we can probably cover that. Put the rock around that. So I have a cave here. Okay, that will work. Didn't really change anything. Real quick, there was an emergency. I saw them attacking the smaller one. So I threw water in here, threw a bunch of rocks in here, and then uh, threw the crawfish back in here. But you just saw me make this little tunnel right here. You can see the crawfish are already using it. I don't really like it, honestly. I'm gonna try pouring a few rocks in front of it. See if we can like gradually slope that rock. 
kind of broke it up in the front. So that made that a little bit better. I still don't know how I feel about it though. Don't know if I like that. Sorry, the tank is a little murky right now, guys. But let's go ahead and add this. So I just glued together these two rocks. You can see the glue seam right there. And I kind of made that opening. That's going to go around that filter back there. I do have to fight these crawfish since they are in there. I stuck my hand in there while I go to move a rock out and one freaking pinched my knuckle. Didn't hurt, just scared me more than anything. I didn't really see it was there. And it got me. Like bastards move. Tried to be nice. So this guy's gonna go right there around the filter. And kind of make a little cave right there. I'm gonna add one more rock on this side. Let's see if this will work. Just kind of just lean it up against it. How stable is that? That works for me. They are digging this tunnel. As you can see, they're all using it, pushing each other out. We do need to make more tunnels though. Got another rock here. Let's see if we can kind of close that off without making it look bad. Oh, the water's so murky. I have to do water change already. We could add another one on this front side. Maybe close this side off a little bit. Let's see if we can set that there. I'm just trying to stack rocks right now. Well, they might actually fit perfectly up against that rock. Let's do it like that, maybe. And then I'm going to fill that little gap right there. I went out and found a whole bunch of flat rocks. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that. That might be perfect. A little too big. You move that out. Push this little triangle rock right in there. It may be pointless because I kind of want to add another rock on top of all that anyways. Is that not a big one? Perfect. I don't want it teetering, that's the thing. Here, let's get rid of this triangle rock. The crawfish may move these around because that's what they do. They're little bulldozers, but uh, we'll just stack up some rocks over here. They're already digging all the rocks. That looks pretty cool. I like that. I am digging that a lot. Okay. I'm basically building a rock formation around the filter. The filter can still come in and out real easily to clean it. Which I probably already need to do because it's been doing overtime getting this uh, sand clean. But uh, that's a good start. I'm going to clean this filter real quick. Maybe do like a 50% water change just to get this water somewhat more clear so we can see better. But I'm digging that so far. Looking cool. So we do have way too many crawfish in here. And this guy's a boy. The bigger ones are the bullies. So I'm thinking this one. See these two right here. And that one, these four crawfish, they uh, they may be part of a crawfish boil coming up soon, a catch and cook. And then we'll just keep all the small ones that are the same size and hopefully they don't want to kill each other too much. But uh, that's kind of the goal here. I want to do a crawfish catch and cook. Kind of morbid to be keeping my these crawfish in here just to be eaten, but uh, that's kind of what I'm doing right now, honestly. Just uh, stacking them up. Yesterday I went out, it was too windy. But uh, Owen caught about two last night. So, yeah, it was uh, pretty rough out there. But we're just waiting till I get enough and I'm just throwing them in here. But we will have these small babies there and there left in here. And I may go catch a few more small ones. Or maybe just one more. I think three would be a perfect amount of crawfish in here. It is a small tank. And uh, hopefully, if they're the same size, they won't try to kill each other. But they should each have their own little cave. There'll be three separate caves in here for each crawfish. Hopefully they just stick to their own little spots. All right, guys. So like I mentioned, I like this side, but not so much this side. But I just got a way better idea for this side. So all of these rocks right here, that tunnel right there, it's all coming out. 
but I have to go find the perfect rock to do what I want to do. So uh, I'm going to go out, explore some, and try to find that rock. All right, came to the shop. I need to get some PVC pipe for some tunnels. We're going to go three inches. I was really scared that was going to shoot off and hit me in the face. Popsicle and we are on our way. Blue and yellow. All right guys, so like I said, I don't really like this thing right here. Now I did put a lot of time into it and it might work for a different fish tank, but not this natural looking crawfish tank I wanna do. Oh, you better stop fighting you turds. So this guy needs to come out. And I gotta do it without getting pinched. There's three crawfish currently on it. Hey, take it, take it easy guy. No, we already made it ours. Get off of there, bud. Oh. And back to square one. <clears throat> Kinda. So, here's here's the deal. So I want a, a rock that is triangle, that is in the back, it's kind of elevated. So I went out and found two somewhat triangle rocks. I wasn't gonna pick up a third one, bent down to grab it, and I saw a rattlesnake like maybe seven inches from it next to this bigger rock I didn't see at all. And I was like, okay, I overstayed my welcome. So uh, didn't pick up the third rock. So this rock is like perfect triangle, but it's super thick. So that's not good. You know, it's, I can make it work. This rock is thinner, <clears throat> but not perfectly triangle. So first thing I need to do is put in these rocks and this will kind of hold up. Gosh, these guys are so aggressive right now. Look at that. Move. No. 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 Go to the other side of the tank. Go. Get. Smack your butt. Go. Get out of here, dudes. Okay. You too. I don't, I don't trust you. Let's put this one here. And then this one back over here. We're kind of making it elevated. And then one more piece back here. It does block off a lot though. Here, we'll just do it long ways. We'll kind of see what that does. Maybe we don't need this third piece. We'll just use this long one. I kind of want this rock. All right, so this big rock is going in. Let's see how it balances up. Don't even think about it, buddy. Eh, no, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Okay, hold on. All right, so that is kind of roughly the new idea. Put a ledge overhang, kind of like that rock is there, and then put the PVC pipe underneath it. But I don't think that looks good at all with that big, thick rock. I may try this other one. I kind of want to see what these crawfish do to these PVC pipes, so I don't know if they're too big to fit. Can you fit? That one's a decent size. Let's see if he can fit. Oh yeah, he can fit. So the biggest crawfish in here, or maybe the second biggest, can fit. Can he get out? <laughs> can he reverse himself? There goes this. Man, they love this PVC pipe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's going in the same one. Don't do it, buddy. Death trap. Okay, so good idea. The crawfish love it. They're instantly using it. But I just don't like how that rock looks. I'm going to try this flatter rock real quick. Alright, so that looks a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and take these smaller rocks and fill in the gaps around the edges. Maybe some on top. See if we can make it look even better. Um, maybe some rock back there. And definitely here to hide all that. Alright, the water is murky again. But uh, this is going to be the finished product. Look at that guy already using the, the little tunnels 
they're checking it out exploring the new setup i dig this a lot this is like a natural look natural rock we got the pool cave down here i don't know if you can see him but there's a crawfish down there there he is i i love this guys this is a nice cool setup these, again these big guys that are fighting uh are they fighting uh, they're not too fighting too much they just bump into each other these bigger guys bam 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 they're gonna be gone it's gonna, gonna be three crawfish about that size right there so these two are gonna stay the rest of them are out i'm gonna catch one more that size and they'll each have their own little tunnel they'll have a little cave here to go into this is awesome guys i'm digging it once this water clears up it'll be a whole lot better just gotta give it some time I like this setup a whole lot better than, than this guy I made right here. It just looks more natural. Again, I could probably use that in some other tank, but uh, for now. But yeah, I dig it. It looks pretty awesome. I am digging it a lot. It looks so much better than what it was. They got their rocks, the hangout on. They got tunnels. They got a cave. They got pretty deep sand they can dig down into, which is what crawfish like to do. So... This should be the perfect tank setup for some crawfish. This dang old freaking dirty water. I need to clean it. I took out those rocks of the net and all that sand was all falling out of the net again. So that's why it got all cloudy again. But it'll clear up, look a whole lot better. But that's it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. I, I enjoy having these crawfish, they're pretty cool. And now actually having a decent tank setup, I may go get a cool crawfish, like a blue one or a red one or a white one. I've been seeing the white ones at Petco and they're pretty freaking cool, but that is going to be for this video, guys. I may do a quick vacuum out tonight again, get out of all of these little hair fibers, whatever that is, and floating crap. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.